2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Valspar Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this next golfer starts their round. What do you think about their chances? Should be a lot of nerves. They got the lead. They've been sleeping on it overnight. That is never an easy thing to do. Almost an uncomfortable situation at times, but they are playing well, so they have that confidence going into the final round. But this is going to be a tough afternoon ahead. My heart's pounding. My palms are sweaty. Let's see how they play out. That was a stonker there. Time for the second shot into the first. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. This one's going to the right. Yeah, disappointing not to find the surface, Rich, but I like that play. Ooh, that almost went down. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Firm, back, up the hill. This will be a good one. Looking really good, this one. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good, opening the first with an underpass score. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. And that fine play ensures they hold top spot on the leaderboard with John Rahm trailing in second place. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. Downhill tee shot, and you want to keep your tee shot out to the right as best you can to take out the trees that hug the left-hand side. Green sits well above the player's second shot. They won't see how close they hit it from the fairway. And the effort, that one. And Henny, what's he looking at here? And from about 105 yards. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? <laughs> yep, that'll work. That's fine. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Just didn't drop. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. That's tracking. That's a disappointing par in the end after such a terrific shot in. Currently in first position. Here we are at the third. <laughs> not sure if they got that one flush. This might not find the fairway. And they found themselves in the first cut. And choosing the eight iron here. Nice out the rough here. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Always nice to have a birdie putt. That's a ripper. And with that hole finished, they're currently sitting in top spot on the leaderboard. Lexi Thompson holds second. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. 
This is a challenging par three, no doubt about it, Luke. This green pitches from right to left and from front to back, making it almost impossible to get it super close unless you have a perfect number into this par three. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the fourth. Good looking putt. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Always positive coming off a of birdie. Let's see what happens here. Absolutely tattooed that one. Second shot here on the fifth. Oh, that was pure. And here we are with the third shot. Well, this one's going right at the flag. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And a fantastic look upcoming. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. Now on the tee, fresh off a of birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. This is probably the hardest fairway to hit on the PGA Tour, Luke. This fairway cambers from right to left at a pretty good clip. And unless you work your tee shot from left to right, a high soft shot, you're not gonna find the fairway. This is almost impossible. The second shot will be from an awkward stance where the ball is above you or below you to a green that's perched a little bit above the players. Thankfully though, it's a very flat green. This shot is about 140 yards out. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Oh, how good was that? Amazing shot. Guaranteed birdie for this player. And they'll tap this in for birdie. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. We've arrived at a par four hole. Wow, I didn't even know they had this power. Great drive. Second shot here on the seventh.
Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Great ball striking. It's a thing of beauty. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Opting for the five iron. That was a bit of a miscue. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. Uh, I like that. Always good when you've got hands like that around the green. Love watching this player around the greens. Glancing at the scoreboard, and they're currently sitting in first place. Lexi Thompson holds second. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. A oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final nine coming up, and the player's perfectly positioned. They've given themselves a chance. Yes, but if they start thinking about it, that's where the danger happens. They have to keep their head down and keep playing on the front foot if they want to see this thing home. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Second shot here on the tenth hole. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the tenth. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? He's got ten feet here. I think he likes it. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Rolling end to end, this looking nice. That's a good putt to make that one. That's back to back birdies. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Love the long holes. Welcome to the par five. <laughs> Not bad. Taking aim from about 220 yards out. Going with the five iron here. Bit offline, that one. Uh, yeah, now into the lap of the golfing gods. Getting ready to play their third. Wow, that almost went in the hole. A seven footer right here.
So far, so good. And down it goes. Now seven strokes up after that hole. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Just a long iron or a hybrid for this tee shot here. Luke, second shot, we're coming in with some kind of short iron to a green that's protected by a deep bunker in the front. Well, this should be unpredictable. Ah, right into the water on that one. And here we are with the third shot. Going with the eight iron here. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Outstanding approach shot. This putt about 11 feet in distance. Oh, just missed. Just three feet to the cup. And that was a bogey by our leader. So the rest of the field feeling a little opportunity here to close the gap. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And we've arrived at a par three. Luke, I've never seen a green in golf repel more golf balls than the 13th here at Innisbrook. It's like it's made out of Gore-Tex. Golf balls just don't stay on it. It is really one of the hardest shots at this Innisbrook golf course. This would be a great up and down. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Yeah, that's a top little chip shot, that one. Judging it beautifully. And this one is for his par. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. For the par. He sits in first position. And there's always the sense of a birdie in the air when we stride onto a par five tee. Only the biggest hitters in the game can reach this one in two, so any tee shot just out to the right is ideal. That way it leaves an easier shot out to the left for your layup. The third shot will be going downhill to a green that tilts from back to front, guarded by a deep bunker over on the left-hand side. You find the fairway with your second shot, you've got a really good chance to hit your third in there close. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. This one has eyes for the hole. Ouch, that hurts. This one's for birdie. And with that hole finished, they're currently sitting in top spot on the leaderboard. Lexi Thompson holds second looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. That one just slides by. 
Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. This is looking solid, what they wanted. Well, that's some handy golf. What a time to make back-to-back -back birdies. What a great feeling being that far ahead with just four to play. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. There's some trees over on the right-hand side that you want to take it just left of to find the center of the fairway. From there, you're going to go in with a mid-iron to a really small green. A high, soft shot is required to hold this green. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. Put every ounce they had into that drive. I shot that. That should find the surface. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. An opportunity for a birdie here. Leading by five shots after that. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. The final challenging par three on this golf course. Good news is, though, is the green funnels in from both the right and left edges. Most shots are going to end up right in the center of this green. A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here on the 17th. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. Little birdie look in here. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Good shot there, Beamer. Standing up over this one after a bunch of birdies. Oh, what a way to finish the day. Hoping he can close out. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Well, this one's right at the pin. A wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. It's all come down to this. A putt for the title. Tracking. And as that putt drops to the bottom, Rich, they are now the Valspar champion. What a performance. Yeah, what a performance. What a win. I mean, just this player was just amazing all week long.
Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey.